Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So it is currently 9am in the morning inside of the UK, and Supercell has actually just implemented a brand new maintenance break inside of the game. So the game went offline for about an hour, we are now back, and it is currently golden hour inside of COC. Now basically, Supercell I think have actually just changed the server inside of Clash of Clans, which means they could be preparing for the, uh, the Christmas update, which is hopefully going to come out in maybe two to three weeks' time. Now, of course, there is going to be another update before the Christmas update actually lands, guys, and that is apparently going to be the red event. So, so far, the update leaks are as follows. We've had leaks that there is going to be a new Barbarian King statue, a red Barbarian King, so our Barbarian King is actually going to turn red for a week, and also a red Archer Queen, as well as a level 9 air defense, level 7 air sweeper, and a couple of other features. Now, I'm not sure if these update leaks are actually true, guys, but it looks like Supercell have actually just changed the server inside of the game. So, hopefully, the update will be coming out this week, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And, of course, drop a sub, guys, if you want to stay up to date with all the information, all the update leaks, and, of course, the new update sneak peeks, which are hopefully going to come within the next couple of weeks. So, we are currently farming inside a golden hour, guys, but that is not what this episode is all about. For the first time in a very long time... We've actually managed to max out not one, not two, but all three of our storages without using a single gem. We haven't bought a single piece of loot. And what I want to ask you is, if you were to have 10 million gold, 10 million elixir, and 200,000 dark elixir, what would you upgrade and how would you do it? Let me know down below in that comment section, guys. 200k dark elixir, 10 million gold, 10 million elixir. So we are going to be spending every single penny of loot inside of this episode, but before we do, I think we're going to need to buy ourselves some gems. Now, we haven't bought gems for such a long time, maybe like two, well, when I say a long time, I mean a long time for a YouTuber. I reckon we haven't bought gems for maybe two, even three weeks, and we're going to buy ourselves a box. I'm kind of feeling a little bit flush. I was going to buy a sack, but I've decided to upgrade to a box. I don't quite feel like we need a chest, guys, so let's get ourselves a box of gems. So do not forget, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, there is a link down below in the description box. It should be the first link, guys, which is going to take you over to Cash for Apps. Now, Cash for Apps have actually just refreshed for the Christmas period, guys. So if you do want to earn yourself some free gems, it should be a little bit quicker than the previous, I would say, two to three months if you have been using it. They've actually implemented some three slash 400 point apps onto the actual app store. So go ahead, check it out, guys. As I said, if you do want to get some, some free gems, you can use the, uh, use the link down below in the description box. So here we go. 6,779 gems. Now we may buy some more if we do need it. We've only got one builder free, which is a little bit unfortunate. You know what I want to do, guys? I just want to get this, uh, this Tesla to level 9. Because I am actually doing some troll bases with the level 9 Teslas. But I don't know if I want to spend a 1,000 gems almost on that. So we're going to leave that for now. But for now, 10 million gold. 10 million elixir. The first thing we're going to do, we got to get the Grand Warden a new level ability. So we're going to upgrade the Grand Warden. And I'm kind of feeling to, uh, we're, go we're going to end his boost yet. Yeah, we're going to end your boost. What? Whoa, whoa, Grand Warden, upgrade. Upgrade Grand Warden. Here we go, guys. Upgrading the Grand Warden. And we're going to straight up gem him. 999 gems. There we go, a level 15 Grand Warden. And of course, he's now got ability level 3. So only 5 levels to go and the Grand Warden is max. 5 levels to go and the Queen is max. 5 levels to go and the King is max. So 15 levels for the heroes. And it's official. I will be a, a maxed out YouTuber with maxed out heroes. So that's pretty cool. So we're about to get ourselves into a live attack in a second's time, but we're going to spend the rest of this actual gold and dark elixir first. Do not forget, guys, if this is the first time you are seeing this channel, we are approaching 1 million subscribers. We are doing a 1 million sub giveaway for Christmas and to celebrate, of course, 1 million subs. Now, the giveaway is a PS4 and an Xbox One, the new Xbox One, guys. I think it's called the Slim or whatever it's called. We are going to end that giveaway on the 18th of December, so hopefully I can ship those two prizes before Christmas Day. Now, if you do want the chance to win, all you need to do is drop a like on this video right now just to show some support to the channel. And, of course, make sure you sub to the channel. Only subscribers will be able to enter. So, check this out. 10 million gold. What can we upgrade? Okay, so we got one expo upgrading there. Another expo. You know what? We may as, do, we may as well do the triple expo. I mean, there's no time like the present. Here we go. Three expos upgrading. And, of course, uh, yeah, that's the last builder gone. Now, we do have 200,000 Dark Elixir. We may actually keep that for the next episode, guys. You know what? You know what? If we get 10,000 likes on this video, 10,000 likes, I'm going to buy 
$200 worth of gems, and I'm going to gem the heroes. One of the heroes to max level, I'm going to spend maybe six to 800,000 Dark Elixirs. So if you do want to see that, if you do want to see the biggest Dark Elixir gem spree, then drop a like on this video. In a couple of hours' time, I'll see how many there are. If we get 10,000, we'll do it. So as I said at the start of the episode, guys, it was a maintenance break. It was golden hour, and check out this base. Now, we came across this Legends League player, and I couldn't find a base for such a long time, considering it was golden hour, and this dude is smart, guys. He knows I'm going to attack from this side because the Eagle Artillery is there. He's actually placed loads of big bombs, loads of Teslas, spring traps, everything here. And I had to be smart. I've only got two wall breakers left. I lost the first four. So we've only got two left, but we did manage to take out a double giant big bomb. Now it takes four wall breakers, sorry, three wall breakers to take down those level 11 walls. But if you use a rage spell, it only takes one. So here's what I've done. I dropped in all the giants. We've already lost half the giants and the battle hasn't really even started. But we got the wall breakers in under rage and they managed to take out that. So we dropped in the healers and I actually resorted to using my uh, my defensive golem inside of my CC. I was going to use that for war because I am inside of a live war. But I had to use it, guys. I couldn't risk it. So check this out. He thinks he has got lucky. He thinks his town always safe, but little does he know, my queen and my bowlers are about to swing back into the center. So the beautiful thing about it is the Lava Hound actually went to the Barbarian King, which is cool because the Barbarian King's not going to get distracted, and a Lava Hound isn't going to do anything to that barb. Then the heroes, the queen and the Grand Warden swing back into the center, guys, along with some bowlers. The queen targets the town hall, takes out the town hall, takes out the Inferno Tower. She goes on to take out those maxed out Expos. The one on the right drops to a bowler, and then she swings into the second Inferno Tower. So my Archer Queen really bringing it home for me inside of this raid, guys, doing some great damage, managing to take that out pretty damn swiftly. And not only did we get a two-star, guys, I think we ended on about 65%. So we picked up a great loot bonus, something like 90%. And check out the trophies, guys. Two star, 31 trophies. A total of 47 was on offer. But of course, me three starring a base using this strategy isn't really going to happen. So a quick show of what the loot is actually like inside of the, uh, you know, the Titans League slash the Legends League right now. This is just a random base, guys. And to be honest with you, it is golden hour, but these bases are so frequent right now. I mean, you don't really find bases like this where the uh, the loot's inside of the collectors. I don't know why this dude hasn't collected his loot. Most of the loot bases are like this, though, six, seven, eight hundred thousand. I've seen a couple, nine hundred thousand over the last couple of days. The only problem is to collect all of the loot is actually quite hard. And as you do get higher into the Legends League, you will notice a lot of the bases become anti three star, and. An anti-3, sorry, anti-2 star, not anti-3 star, they actually only allow you to get one star because what most people do these days, because it's quite easy to 3 star a lot of bases, what a lot of players are actually starting to do and what they've been doing for a long time really is protecting the town hall by putting no defenses around it, just putting loads of walls around it, you know, just spacing out the walls, maybe a couple of, uh, you know, traps, maybe some hidden Teslas and some big bombs. And basically, you're attacking troops like the Giants, the Golems, the Balloons, anything which goes for defenses isn't going to, uh, you know, focus in on the center. So therefore, the Town Hall is going to end up standing and you're going to lose out on a lot of the loot. Because for those of you that don't know, the Town Hall actually uh, was, it accounts for 25% of the Gold Elixir and Dark Elixir. So if you don't manage to grab the Town Hall, then you're going to end up losing quite a bit of loot. So for some reason, I think I actually sat around for over a minute and didn't, you know, didn't even do anything inside of this raid. I'm not sure if my connection went. Now, this was only like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes ago. I think I was eating. I'm not even sure. But check it out, guys. I want the raid to end because I want to show you how much loot we actually ended up picking up. So we're at four times speed. To be fair, we got 81%. I mean, it's a decent Town Hall 11 base. Nowhere near maxed out, but it was decent. We still managed to pull a decent, you know, percent on the base, guys. Grabbing over 6,000 Dark Elixir. So not bad. Not bad at all. So we're going to see if we uh, we can do some live war attacks inside of the next episode, guys. Let me just show you the bases we are going to be coming up across. Hold on a second. We've got five builders going to work right now. One expo upgrading there. Another expo upgrading there. The third and the final expo there. We have one max level already. And then the Teslas, we got the last Tesla going to level 9 inside of 4 days and 22 hours. The other 3 are already maxed out. Then we need to max out the big bombs, the air mines. That's pretty much all that remains, guys. And of course, the uh, the mortars. Now we have one level to go on this bomb tower. The other bomb tower is already maxed out. And then we have to upgrade 3 mortars. I believe one is actually upgrading. Yep, there it is, guys. 6 days, 17 hours. So legit, all we have left to max out is one bomb tower level. 
three mortar levels, and then the air mines, the air bombs, the walls, and the heroes. So this is really getting serious, guys. I mean, for me, to be close to a maxed out Town Hall 11 is serious, because I've only been playing this game two years, so that means Supercell is slacking. We need some more features, we need some more troops, we need some more updates inside of the game. So we are going to be doing a couple of live attacks possibly inside of the next episode guys. This is one of the bases I will be taking on. Check this out. It's an anti uh, an anti two star base as I said trying to protect that town hall by setting loads and loads of defenses around the outside. Now I'm going to attack this in a very unique way so please please make sure you stay tuned for the second episode guys. It's going to be live. It's going to be insane. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully it's going to be heartbreaking the opponent not for me i want to get at least a two star hopefully 70 to 80 percent we have not yet been attacked so hopefully we do get attacked also only seven hours left inside a war so we are going to win this video here guys don't forget to let me know if you had maxed out storages maxed out dark elixir gold and elixir what would you spend it on and why let me know down below have a great day guys peace out